Why don't you make the next for a few hours? As Ralph is making his way back to the city, we have a. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We want to welcome you to Friendly First Baptist Church this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's the reason why we're here and we come to worship His holy name. And if this is your first visit, we'd like a record of your visit, please fill out a visitor card and drop it in the offering bag as it comes around. And uh, we just praise God that uh, you have, God has drawn you here. I believe everybody here this morning is here by divine appointment. Amen. Uh, yeah, so praise Amen. the Lord. Also, um, I want to uh, draw your attention to Bible studies. We've had a Bible study right before this service from 9.30 to 10.30. Um, have a um, rich uh, Bible study, uh, the, the adult Bible studies out of the book of Hebrews. And so uh, be sure you're involved in those uh, Bible studies. Also, we have a Bible study tonight at uh, 6 and Wednesday night at 6, so be involved in those uh, Bible studies. And um, also, uh, speaking of Bible study, we have a, a women's meeting, and that is next Saturday, um, August the 31st at 9 o'clock here at the church. All ladies are welcome uh, to that. And um, uh, they had a, um, uh, uh, last week or so, they had a uh, sale outside the church house here, and they raised over $1,700 uh, for ministry. Uh, and, um, you know, unlike uh, the, the uh, things you give, like uh, on TV commercials and stuff, all of this money goes directly to the ministry, so, uh, so praise God for that. Uh, also, um, uh, if you want to catch us on YouTube, uh, you can catch us at, on YouTube at Tony First Baptist Church. And so uh, we're praising the Lord. Also, uh, on the back of our bulletin, we have our church prayer request. Now, I have a, uh, Mr. Danny called me yesterday. Uh, he was uh, writing to um, Renown in an ambulance. Um, he fell and broke his femur uh, right above his hip joint, and he is getting hip replacement I guess um, oh, oh. this morning so oh, I just wanted to draw our attention to that so we could be praying uh, for our brother Danny and um, uh, we just there's no time to quit praying there's no time to quit praying because um, you know I believe that and I know you believe that prayer still changes things yeah. you know and uh, and Wednesday night prayer meeting that's, is a, it, that's about uh, getting a hold of the Lord's ear, you know, corporately and, and uh, praying uh, for for our needs. And uh, we need to keep on praying for Israel. We need to. There, there's a lot of things we need to keep on praying for. We need to keep on praying for our families. We need to keep on praying for our church body here at Fernley First Baptist. And so, and and the other churches that are meeting this morning too, right? And so uh, we're an association of churches. So uh, we pray for we pray for each other. We hold up in prayer, and uh, because we want God to uh, come down and do a work uh, that'll surprise all of us. Amen. Amen. Because uh, you know a lot of times we go through the motions of religion, uh, but really what we need is a move of God. We need a we need a good old fashioned dose of the ghost. You know what I'm saying? Where He just comes down and and uh, uh, warms our hearts and minds and. And uh, and draws us uh, back to the cross, right? So, uh, and we're we're going to uh, preach on that a little bit about being uh, identified with Christ and His kingdom. So, uh, well, let's go to the Lord uh, in prayer this morning. And I know there's needs here in every seat. There's some uh, some needs, and uh, so we just uh, uh, keep on praying that God will will meet each and every one of them in our lives. Father God, we do call upon your name, and, and Lord, your name is great and greatly to be praised. And, and Lord, we pray, Father God, and, and Lord, we uh, come to you in thanksgiving, uh, Lord, mainly. And Lord, I just pray, Father God, that Lord, as we come to you 
and uh, lay our request before you and cast our care upon you that, Lord, you would answer our prayers, invade our lives, God, and, and uh, do miracles in our lives, God. Lord, I, uh, I lift up Danny to you this morning, Lord, and I pray, Father God, that, Lord, uh, you would guide the hands of the doctors. I pray, Father God, that, Lord, uh, you would um, uh, get him, uh, keep him in health, Lord God. I, uh, I pray for my wife, Jean, Lord. She's not feeling well this morning. I pray, Father God, that, Lord, for, uh, for each one of us, Lord, we... Uh, uh, we all have trials in our life, Lord. We all have uh, people in our lives that are outside of, of your kingdom, Lord God. And so, Lord, I just pray, Father God, that, Lord, you would be the one that draws us, Lord God. You would be the one that would, add, Lord, by your spirit. Lord, it's not by might nor by power. It's not even by my testimony. It's by your spirit, Lord God. And so, Lord, we pray, Father God, that, Lord, uh, we would walk in your spirit. I pray, Father God, that, Lord, we would uh, I pray in your spirit. I pray, Father God, that we'd pray in the spirit and with the understanding, Lord God. And, Lord, uh, I just uh, come to you this morning, Lord, lifting up the ones on the back of this bulletin. Lord, I pray that you would heal us in spirit, soul, and body, Lord God. Because, Lord, sometimes it's not just a physical touch we need. Sometimes we need uh, a touch in our soul because we're discouraged. Sometimes we need a touch in our spirit, Lord, because... Lord, we're, uh, we're out of sorts with you, Lord God. And Lord, I just pray, Father God, that Lord, as we, uh, as we come to you today, that Lord, you would invade our lives and do a miracle working in our life, God, that, we, that we, uh, all we can do is give glory and honor to you. Lord, I pray that you would glorify yourself in healings in our families. I pray that you'd, pray that you'd glorify yourself in healings in our soul and healings in our church. And Lord, I just pray for the other churches too that are meeting this morning too. Lord, in our uh, Sierra Baptist Association and Lord, all over the world, Lord God, because Lord, uh, you have ordained uh, the church. You have ordained the preaching of the gospel to reach people's lives. And Lord, we'll be careful to give you praise, honor, and glory in the house. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our reading this morning is going to be out of Luke chapter 3. Uh, Sister Chandra is going to come and uh, read the reading of the Word. Let us stand for the reading of God's Word this morning. Being the high priest, the word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. And he came into the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remissions of sin, as it is written in the book of the word of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rock way shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then said he to the multitude that came, to, came forth to the baptism of him, all generations of vipers, who had warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bringing forth therefore fruits of repentance, beginning not to say within yourself, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to rise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree is therefore which bringeth not good fruit is here down and cast into the fire. Amen. 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 You can be seated.
anchor of our soul, isn't he? Sure. Let's, uh, let's go, um, Lord, in our tithe and our offering, let each one give just as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or out of compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And you've heard me say many times, if you can't give the right way in worship, please keep your money. We're not here after anybody's money. We're here to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We're here to worship the one who gave himself for us and shed his blood for us. And so uh, when we come, it's a holy time before the Lord. In the Old Testament, as well as the New Testament, there were people that God slew during offering time. In the Old Testament, it was uh, Nadab and Abihu. They brought their own fire before the offering of the Lord. And uh, God, uh, the fire came out of the altar and, and, and uh, burnt them up. In the New Testament, it was Ananias and Sapphira that lighted the Holy Spirit and um, they uh, at offering time. So this is, that's why it says offering time is a holy time. It's not, it's not just something flippantly we do to, to gain God points or anything like that. It's a time of worship. And whether we give our time, our talent, or our treasure, it's all uh, given, uh, given to the Lord. And uh, I'd like to ask my little sister, Olivia, and... Uh, and my, my big sister, Debbie, to come up and receive her <laughs> offering. <laughs> it's good to have Debbie back. She hasn't been feeling well. It's, it's nice good to, to see her back. <laughs> Debbie, you two off our prayer. It's it's Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us all here today and being here to worship with you and be with our church family. Yes. And dear God, please bless this offering that we're receiving and help us to have a wonderful week. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>